We begin tonight with a DACA rally happening right now at the Capitol. ABC 10's live Kreutz, or Liz Kreutz, I should say, is there live. What can you tell us, Liz? Hey, Chris, sorry, it's hard to hear you out here. There are people yelling and cheering at this rally right now. It has grown enormously in size since we last checked in with you at five. There's several hundred people here right now. I'm going to step aside just so you can see some of these crowds stretching the block here on 7th and Capitol Mall. Right now, there are people on this stage here are, are giving testimonials of their experiences as being a part of DACA and, and the Dreamers here. Several people that are here of all ages, races, ethnicities. Some just here to serve their support, others here because they have personal experience with this. I see that I'm not here by myself. Right now, with me right now, we just... Oh, 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 we're not here to stay. So we tell them. Do you know what you say to the administration right now? We are the immigrants. We consider the ones who deserve it. Mighty, mighty immigrants. And now I'm here right now with Sacramento State President Robert Nelson. We saw him. You came here. Why are you here? You came down here today. Because this is all about our students. This is about America's future. This is about securing that future, making sure that future happens. These are amazing people. They want an education. They deserve an education. America must give them an education. You teared up earlier when you were talking to me about this. Why is this so well, my wife told me not to tear up this time, okay? Because these are kids. They're my kids. They're our kids. They're people. They're not words. These are the people who will make a difference. If we don't support them, then who do we support in this nation? What makes us unique when we are unique? It's the immigrants in our nation. It is those kids that are standing up there right now. It's the kids before them. It's the kids who will come after them. And I know you've been with many of your students who are dreamers all day today. Right now, what is Sacramento State doing to support these students? Right now, the students are afraid. They've given up all of their information. People know where they live. They know where their parents live. So we're giving them counseling. We're helping them. One of the nice things that was in that, I don't even know what it was, the executive order today, is that students can still apply and get another two years. We're helping them get those other applications in, get the jobs. I know just here I've seen so many people come up and hug you, so so many students are so thankful for your support. Thank you, President Nelson. I appreciate it. Here's up. Now, I spoke with other dreamers here. One of them is a woman named Mariana. She's 22 years old, came here when she was one year old from Mexico. She graduated with UCLA, just leaving a fellowship over here at the state capitol, and now she's applying to grad school. Several stories like this we're hearing today. Several of them here right now. Many of them scared that the, their future is going to know what to expect. Reporting here in downtown. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Liz. Obviously, that's very difficult. It's very 